Hey, welcome to my UIM update video. First off, Happy New Year's. I hope everyone had a good New Year's and I hope 2021 goes better than 2020 for y'all. I'm starting the video off doing a little bit of Slayer. Got the Kraken Tats and the Kraken has a Santa hat on it, which looks pretty awesome. <laughs> Think if you can get that actual Santa hat, like they'll cover your whole character up. Anyways. This is a really easy boss to kill, but I can't carry that much food. So for me, the hard part is when I go bank and get more food, well, not bank, but go cook up more food. When I come back, someone always takes my spot. So I have to world hop a lot to find a, a world that's empty. I could pay to have an instance where it's just me and a Kraken and no one else can get in there, but I don't get enough kills per trip to make it worth it. Like I would waste so much GP on it and I wouldn't make it back like from here by the high algs i guess i'll make some money back i could probably make it back but i'd rather not do that but one cool thing while ki killing the kraken boss is surprise i got a freaking pet kraken and it also comes with a santa hat i actually didn't even notice <laughs> that i got the pet um i started to kill and then i was like i saw the pet and i'm like oh did someone log in underneath me and then I saw the pickup option. I was like, wait a minute, what? <laughs> and I was like, wait, that's my pet. I just got a pet. And then I look at the chat log and it says, you have a funny feeling you, like you're being followed, which is pretty amazing. Uh, I can't believe I got the Kraken pet. It looks so cute. And it has a Santa hat. I'm pretty sure the Santa hat's going to disappear after they remove the Christmas events from the game. But in the meantime, look at how cool. Um, I don't know if I should name it. <laughs> I'm be like, yeah, I'll let y'all decide if y'all want to name it. But I'm just gonna call it Kraken Pet. Ha! Huh. I'm not good with coming up with names. But yeah, that's exciting. Um, so let's go check the collection log and let's see what else we need from the Kraken boss. All right, teleported to my POH house, looking for the collection logbook, trying to see. How is this looking now that we unlocked the pet Kraken? Found the collection log. <laughs> Open it up. Let's get to the Kraken section. Bam! Collection log is completed. Um, <laughs> I got three jars on the Kraken pet. But all at 1,081 kill count. So that's really good. So I am done with this boss. I'm still going to do it because it's easy. And you do get drops that I can, like, Drops like in high alk and stuff. So it's not that bad of a boss, but I just wanted to show y'all I got it completed. Also, on my journeys, I found out there's the beekeeper outfit now. I heard that the beekeeper random event got updated because it was kind of weird before, but they fixed it to make it like easier to put the piece where it's supposed to go. And before I would line it up and it still wouldn't take it for some reason, but now it's working. That's why I tried it. And then I got some legs. And with the new update where you can store um, incompleted sets into your POH, this is going to make it so much easier to get the whole set. So I won't have to save it in my inventory, which is pretty awesome. Like, I'm excited for that update. That that was crazy. Like, I did. I had a lot of stuff that I out there dropped along the way of my journey. But now I'll be able to store in the POH. Um. One thing I also want to do for 2021 is start doing achievement diaries. At least get the hard ones completed. And I'm going to need a crystal bow. And for a crystal bow, I'm going to need a crystal weapon safe. And the only way I see to get one is I could go do the gauntlet, which, yeah, I could. Um, But I'd rather just go do Last Man Standing because they also sell it there. And I was like, I have a better chance, and this seems easier to get points. Turns out it's kind of hard. People know how to PK. I suck at PK, and like I'm trying to do switches and tribrid and all this, and I, I got <laughs> it took me two days um, to get the points required for it. I did get a little bit better um, by the end. As long as you get one kill, you get a point, and then if you survive to like top ten, you get two points. Or no, it's a top nine. It's something like that. So I, I did get at least one kill. And it started. It was fun. So I stayed there a little bit extra. Um, but then I was like, okay, now that I got the seed, let me go get a crystal bow. Turns out 
you don't just go and pay the elf anymore to turn it into a crystal bow. You have to get shards. And if you have the requirement levels like the smithing and crafting levels, you can make it yourself. If not, you can have you're gonna have to pay extra shards to the elf to make the weapon for you or the tool. So I decided, you know what? I guess I'm gonna do agility in the L City to get the shards. And also while I'm doing that, I'll be working on farming. So it's like two skills while I'm, you know, working it out. And since I'm gonna be training farming, I decided to do a couple of birdhouse runs. So the first time I did it was on the league and it was actually pretty easy. For some reason, I thought it was going to be hard just because I thought you were going to have to replace the clockwork each time you did made a house. And I was like, dude, going to make one each time to just do runs and like, you know, just keep replacing it would not be worth it. But you actually click keep the clockwork. Um, all you replace is the seeds and uh, whatever log you're using. So like I'm, right now I'm using magic logs. So that's it. So it's really easy. Simple, good way to get burnness and seeds. And my friend was telling me if I had the high enough um, herb lore letter <laughs> level, um, I would be able to be making like Ceridome and Brews and not, not drop into Birdness. But my herb level is really low. And yeah, so bird's nests are going on the ground. So lucky people who are picking them up because they're like, I think they're around 5k each. And sometimes I, I drop a lot of them. and But then sometimes I get zero. Anyways, so going to agility. Have to, haven't trained this in a while. So hopefully I get a good level. Hopefully it goes by easy and fast. Also, I'm going to show you. This is um, my fastest time is one minute, six seconds. So hopefully we can beat that by the end. Um, I hope you enjoyed the update video. Again, I hope... 2021 is going good for you so far and i hope it gets better and if you like the video make sure to hit the like leave a comment down below if you have any tips tricks anything i can do to improve and i'll catch y'all next time peace